when I'm channeling a spirit, spirits come to me and the first thing that they show, the first thing is if they're male or female. And then next they show me if they have been either murdered, suicide, committed suicide, or if there was an accident or an illness. Now, sometimes they'll be very specific and other times not. Every spirit communicates differently and has different levels of vibrational energy. The ones with the highest vibrations karmatically, not just in this lifetime, but karmatically have the highest vibrations, are able to communicate so much easier with the medium. So when I'm hearing them very clearly during my reading, that is because the spirits have a higher level of communication and skills. A lot of times the spirits will show me uh, the person, the client that I'm reading to their birthday or a special day that was special between them, an anniversary or even their passing. I've even had spirits show me the date of their funeral. So it just depends what the spirit wants to show. Now, um, do they show me everything? No. And do they take orders? Nope, they're in charge. <laughs> So sometimes clients will say, well, if it's real, they will tell me this, but not necessarily because they have their own agenda and they will get through the messages that they want and only the messages that they want the client to know or hear. So a lot of times the messages are a message of just that they're okay, or sometimes it is um, forgiveness. Uh, there can be a number of, of things they want to communicate with the client through me. Um, another thing, sometimes I will smell something. Uh, sometimes I smell cigarette smoke and they'll show me that they were a smoker here in this world. Other times they show me other things such as, you know, maybe a ring showing that they were married or that someone has their ring. They're not usually too attached to possessions, which is uh, contrary to what we would think, but they are just attached to items that uh, are special that have been given to those they've left behind. <clears throat> so another thing that the uh, spirits like to share is they like to share symbols. They also like to share uh, fun times that they had while here in this earth. And they also often like to share their name. Now they don't always tell me their name, but when it does come through, it's usually very subtle, very quick, or they have me spell it. And that's a lot of fun. Some spirits like to play games. <laughs> Every spirit has their own personality and uh, ways of communicating. They often show also how many kids they've had or if they're sending love to how many family members. They love to do that. And sometimes they'll show me where they're from and a little bit about their life or messages about the client's life to help them understand that that these spirits are still with them and the beauty of it all is that uh, every reading there is something wonderful that the spirits share that helps the client understand that their spirit is still with them and leaves them very subtle messages through various means and we'll get through that on another video topic of how spirits leave messages. Thank you for watching and if you like this video please subscribe to my channel Psychic Medium Tree. Thank you.